I am going to give you a view from the teacher's perspective of what a class looks like when you are teaching something as complex as a data recovery course with 20 systems and uh, you know two hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment so from up here where I'm looking this will be my board where I will present and these are my systems that I'm running so presentation includes uh, just strictly pretty much all the PowerPoint items or anything that I need to do specifically regarding Mac anything having to do with Windows environments and things like that that require you to spit out files so you can view things and file systems and using next ways then you also have uh, deep spar which is doing a physical recovery against a drive so that I can display some content an Atola which is fully packed got every module every single thing uh, and the Atola does imaging and repairs drives and will give you a forensics image of items including an in-case image if necessary and then I have a video recording system which is attached to cameras and a DVI system which then outputs here uh, into a card which I will later on publish online and then looking from my perspective you will see a slew of tables out there that include dual systems and so as you walk out there from my perspective you will see there is an Atola on every table on what is their right hand side and there is a deep spar on every table on their left hand side so they can get a feel for all the tools and what you need to do uh, when you're doing imaging. And so on one side you will see the deep spar, on the other side you will see a TOLA. And you will see that for the entirety of the classroom. Uh, this is one row and then there is a second row. And so this would be the lab environment. I could normally teach something in the neighborhood of 50 people at the same time but with this lab environment by swapping people, devices, drives, and the equipment that they are viewing. If we're doing head replacements or head reassembly, we are able to swap people out as they are different speeds. So sometimes somebody does a drive at a different speed than the other person, so therefore they can walk up and use one of the lab environments. Now this particular room that I am doing the training in also has a huge amount of standing room and seated uh, with balconies. So I actually have a situation where I could have, you know, another 200, 300 people in this room to watch presentations or go through presentations as I'm doing this. But uh, I've actually staged equipment so that people can see what happens in certain cases. So I've got source drives that are all cloned with the same data on them for the Atola. So you can see that right here I have a Western Digital one and then I have a Western Digital destination. And then over on the Deep Spar side, you will see I've also staged and staggered items with a Mac store and Western Digital Drive. And this is also so that I can uh, demonstrate head assembly mapping and things like that. So you can actually turn off individual heads, turn off certain types of problems with certain sectors and, and deal with them directly in the system. And that's what you'll also see on the Atola as well. So I will be going back and forth in this presentation between both of those so that everybody can see what this is going to do. And so that's what this looks like from the audience's perspective. And, uh, and again, doing live labs, uh, training people how to do data recovery forensics because you guys who think that you know how to use a forensics imager like a Tableau or uh, you know TD1, TD2, TD3, Boom, hard copies, uh, even dittos and things like that you're not getting everything and you're not even getting close. There's a lot of things those tools don't do. They're pretty dumb devices as a whole. They don't know how to make it through damaged drives. A lot of them, uh, with the exception of the Ditto, can't do reverse imaging. So you can't look at certain problems and actually image from the back of the drive instead of the front of the drive. And those drives will also require you to do, uh, in most cases, contiguous imaging. So we don't have to do any of that here. We can do data, we can do metadata, we can do it at any point in time. We're focusing on sectors and being intelligent about what the content of the sectors is that we're going to extract. And we can do it forwards, backwards, uh, spit out anything that we want. And so these are the powerful tools that do this. Uh, there also would be included in this category a PC3000 from ACE Laboratories. 
Uh, I'm not demonstrating that at this point because it is a much more complex system, but it is also the oldest and most full-featured system. And they do sponsor those things in my class and try to make people understand what they can do with firmware and imaging and other tools. This is strictly to correct some of the problems here in forensics imaging because people are using tools like NCASE and FTK and dumb devices that just use DD to image a drive and they're missing a lot of data and they're not correctly doing some of the imaging processes or they're running into damaged drives in the field and they cannot image them or do anything with them because their tools will fail. And I'm gonna prove that and show that on the screen and record it. So that's me signing out. Scott Moulton, My Hard Drive Died, Forensic Data Recovery Systems. Thanks.